another edition of Salon Talent here on Star Television, Channel 21. I am PB Swill, always your host with the most. In today's program, we're going to talk to a young innovator and a young talented broadcaster who's also a poet and an actor. We'll be talking to these two gentlemen later. And don't forget, this program brings you Salon Top 10 Countdown Chart entertainment news, personality profile, and um, a lot of other entertainment stuff here. Well, we're going to start with the entertainment news. Right after that, something comes up, and then we go straight to the interviews. Stay with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Born Alonzo Tia Bassi, aka Alonzo, a Sierra Leonean act based in UK, has been nominated in the second annual 2016 Africa Entertainment Awards in the USA in the category of Best Dancehall Artist. And Alonzo is running up against big names like Shata Wale, Patko Rankin, Winkin D, Takana Zion, and Stone Boy. And in addition to that, Alonzo is set to release the Wise Up African song. He said most times the media and other people have been projecting bad news about Africa but are failing to project the good news about our beloved Africa. With so much success back home from his latest album Survival, with its song Monku Bospa Matches, Emerson Amado Bokari is set to perform live in London on 9th September 2016. And the Red Flag Music Boss, King Boss Ellie, has teamed up with Nigerian-born Davido in a song titled Get Up, produced by Nashito Kulala. Born Mohamed Kamara, a.k.a. Easy K, the CEO of Easy Paris Production, a Scandinavian act based in Paris, has disclosed that his recent visit for a wonderful performance in UK was a success Sierra Union reggae artist based in the United States of America by the name of Manny Fresh, has officially released his long-awaiting video titled Thunder Loving. Anything I do for you can I be number one, not to two. So now forgive me, you tend to love it. Anything I say, I go do. Anything I do. And finally, in this entertainment news, the Two Dimension and Brothers, 2DB, Young IB and Nobze, has officially released the long waiting video, Sexy Lady. For you, baby. For the entertainment news on Star TV, I am Mohamed Basiru Sanusi in Frita. and he is a young innovator. He actually benefited from a scholarship. He went to the US. He represented Sierra Leone and studied. Well, I can't explain all about it. So Joseph, let's get to know how you got that scholarship, what the scholarship was about. Uh, well, the scholarship came in in my school and uh, the ha my school had a tourism student to represent and to go for the exams in, in Freetown here. And uh, basically, there are like over 500 students in Sierra Leone who applied on the scholarship. Oh, wow. And I was fortunate. To be and they were only looking for one person. Uh, no, they're only looking for like eight. Eight people? Yeah, eight And people. you were fortunate enough to be. To be... Oh, eight people, right? congratulations. Thank you. So how was it? Uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, uh, basically, it's all about like going to the United States and like sharing our cultures with them. And, wow, like, yeah, I love, about, you know, the experience. <laughs> learning the about cultures. their own cultures, right? So how long was the um, the course? What's the duration? It was for an academic year. Wow. So what did you get to learn? 
Uh, well, What's the, the academic qualification? What is it rated? A certificate, diploma? What is it rated? Uh, well, it depends on like where you're going and the school or the state or the people you're going to live with. Mm -hmm. uh, like for me, I was really fortunate. Like before going there, I had a right on my form. Like I was someone who's really passionate about technology. And so fortunately for me, they had to choose a school, like a technology school where I was placed in. And I was also placed in the senior class. Yeah. Wow, in the senior class. Right. I think we've got the genius here. <laughs> <laughs> so while you were there, this your love and passion for technology, what impact did you make? Uh, well, I did a lot because like before going to the United States, I was doing a lot of things or I have been someone who's really passionate about technology. Mm -hmm. Like I created a miniature city. I was like, what? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I mean like... <laughs> <laughs> it was about like what I wanted Sterling to be in the next few years mm. and I had to together with two of my other brothers in Freetown they, they attended the grammar school we created a miniature city and we electrified it from scraps and things that we found close and to what's us. that miniature for the good of people like me <laughs> well like it's just a creativity like an infrastructure challenge you know mm. like what we see of vision Sterling to be in the next few years so basically I did that and with my other brothers and then going to the United States, I was involved with robotics. Let, um, yeah, exactly. Let me take you back a bit. Before we start, a video played that robot. It was actually, actually, I think it was doing what the people were doing. The people were so, doing what robots exactly. were doing. Exactly. And sure, yeah. <laughs> how were you involved in that robot's creation? Okay, uh, well, those, those kind of robots are called now robots. So they are, there's a company that basically creates robots, but we only do coding and programming, like do what we want the robot to do, you know? So I was involved in my school robotics club. That was where, and I was in the programming team. And in that programming team, I learned how to code. You keep talking about your school. Um, what school is it? It's called the Toledo Technology Academy. Okay. It's in Toledo City in Ohio State. Yeah, and yeah, so I did programming. Back in Sierra Leone, which school did you attend? Christ the King College. The Real College of the South? Yep. For them people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not make a vex about me, but if you can send Yeah, I know several people. Yeah, that's all for do, no way. <laughs> <laughs> so you created the coding for the um, for the robots? Right, yeah, with two other and friends what of does, mine. What, what does the coding do? It's like we we code and we compile it and send it to the there's a particular component that is installed in the robot's brain is that what is responsible for controlling the robots there's a couple of like we have the arduino board and we have other things like the visual basics that's installed in the robots okay now i'm beginning to feel sick <laughs> back in school when it's we had maths class i developed maths phobia in um, senior secondary school <laughs> No joke, I developed maths phobia. I, there's this thing about science that <laughs> gets me <laughs> sick. But hey, I love science, so. <laughs> so you actually, you were part of the team that right. um, developed the, the, the code, code system. Yeah. There's a couple of language, coding language that we do, but I'm mostly good at Java programming. The language is called Java. There's another called Python, C++, and others. I just a little bit of them. But so yeah, we did. We wrote some codes and we compiled it to the robot's brain and then you can see the robots dancing. Yeah, like I should that, have so some like... paracetamol in my bag. Once we're done, I'll <laughs> just go good. straight for just <laughs> two would help. <laughs> now aside from um your your involvement with the robot, what other things were you involved with? Uh there are other things too called the alternative energy club in my school. And basically that was in that club I learned and then unlocked my potential in STEM. And now we were building vehicles in go karts that like I need that process mm -hmm. that where uh, that use alternative energy that is we can choose petrol or diesel on it and we're using like we like you can see we have most of them that worked on hydrogen like um this one you're seated on right now is the, it a yeah this is another one yeah this one is a solar you have the solar it works it's, it's powered by solar and a battery right there it's like a cycle thing and so we basically we want to find a way to use all the um, resource of uh, you know where we and we can choose petrol or diesel so there one that we can use hydrogen and in this video too this one works on electricity and uh, that was the last project that I did before coming back to Sierra Leone mm -hmm. it worked on the we used propane we we're working on making it from propane 
Yeah. Now that you're back, I learned also you you won something from the American Embassy that's what, um, thousands of dollars. Well, let's get to know about that project. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yes. But before coming back in the United States, I was chosen by the U.S. Department of State to represent my old program amongst about a thousand exchange students from all over the world in the United States. Hooray! To well, God yeah, the glory. I was chosen and I was chosen to give a speech at the State Department in the presence of presence of State Department presence of VIPs, presence of 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 presence of
but yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Right. So, right. So, All right, but, Joseph, but, thank yeah, you so, very so, much so, for so, being so, on this program. So, and so, I look forward so, to having you in so, subsequent so, editions so, to so, talk so, about how so, it's going so, with the girls so, and so, the so, innovation. So, and so, I will so, not forget so, definitely so, to take my two tabs of paracetamol with all the scientific terms I've heard. Joseph, thank you for being a part of my program. And just before we move on to the next guest of the program, um, let's join my people, Rebecca and um, Bash, for this little top 10 countdown chart, and stay with me. Hey, I have to welcome to yet another edition of the official top 10 videos countdown on Star TV Channel 21. And on Style 103.5 in our affiliate frequency modulations across the country, live and direct from our Media One Center studios of Penny Mama Studio Book Fees. I am your guy, DJ Black. Just told me, I'll be right back. Yes, indeed. Welcome back. And it's nice having you throughout the week. And nice know you have on a blessed weekend. Once again, I'm your guy Bosch, and there are so much videos out there trending. And you can testify we are moving. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Videos like uh, E Plus, yeah. There's Party Animal. Those E Plus guys. Those guys are amazing. Supermax with Swagger, and uh, those guys from USA. Oh, the Two Dimension Brothers, there's a young IBN Nobze, sexy lady, that video is fun and out. And also, turn the love in for Manny Fresh. Take a look at those videos and I'll be back shortly. trending and they have chance to be on the chat it's up to you the viewers it's up to you the listeners as well and see what you can do because this is the top 10 countdown on star tv channel 21 and on style 103.5 and our affiliate frequency modulations across the country move straight to the official top 10 videos countdown for this week and our number 10 video is from linda samai aka star zizi the mamina power in the video title after me na me Coffee because it's been already done. 
Yes, indeed. After me, Nami is still on the chat, and I say kudos to her for that Australia tour. That was a huge success here, yeah? and she was able to hook up with part of ranking. Very interesting. Let's see what can happen. And the bad news is on the way coming. Yeah. Move straight to our number nine video for this week, and it's from the guys of the BTC Stroke Wave ENT, Cactus and Samza, in a video titled Same Life. Mba, double Z I got you. Samsa crack twist, BTC waff. Now the Zim life no more. I was for the day and I'm so oriented. See me in the day and I'm so complimented. I stick to the basics. Fan I'm cool net bra. Mmm, it looks like me brain sick. Man fly over, stick to the lines. Never come across man Buddha. Now me one for me swag. Wear me a fuck no care if you want chuda. Na the Zim life, na the Zim dot TV die. So God bless, na the Zim got it. If you dey over, sing it there. If you breathe, na the breathe. Na the Zim life, na mom. If you get on my jeep, me look back to see what's a rich. Na the Zim life, na mom. If you wear me a max, me wear it late to what's a blow. Na the Zim life, na mom. Say come cool, na rush. Life a be simple, boy. Na the Zim life, na mom. Make me all the world with Nikki. Me a get your bona ya. Zim life, na mom. When you die, it don't. Yes, Sim Life was our number nine video for this week, and it's nice knowing those guys are explorer guys and they are moving here. Yeah? Move straight to our number eight video for this week, and it's from Filka Kamara, aka Empress P, in a video titled Boom Bam Boom. <laughs> Yes, Boom Bam Boom was our number 8 video for this week from Empress P and a very, very nice video. It's very, very funny, okay? Move straight to our number 7 video for this week and it's from Benjamin George aka Drizzleek in a video titled Pop Color. Ben 10 over 10. Are you ready now? Okay, let's go. Maintain. Fine, fine, baby, them. Let me go. All the fine, fine, baby, them. It's Classic Production. Check this. Now, Friday, don't cancel. What's in that mean? Same dog each for pop color. I thank God for my life. As long as I'm alive, it's a monster for pop color. All me items, they don't sell. Man, get for boy. Let me boil. Let me pop color. I just got a call from my boss. I don't send you money now. You phone grab, let you pop color. Let we pop color. Party man, grab, let you pop color. CGIF, as long as I'm alive, it's a monster for pop. All works, no play, make Ben $10. See, they months done, man, fit spend $10. Rascal, Robin Nood, body not so firewood. See, they holiday, let we pop 10 color. Kukuju Muku, they watch, see, they with a long face. Awayeri Gumbe, see me with me long, yes. Everybody tap nine corner with. Yes, sir, uh, it's pop color. So much fun, so much enjoyment in that video and all. <laughs> Actually, these guys are something else. Move straight to our number six video for this week, and it's from the Sea of Easy Paris production that Easy K, and the team's up there with Makamude 
in a video titled Aminata. Will you tell me why? Why this baby they make a they cry? They, they, they make a they cry. Cause of money, JC, JC, JC. I just they wonder why. I've been get this baby. My name now, I've been at top. Maybe they cook food for me. It, it gets me like king king. Because of JC. This baby tumble not roads. You know they listen to me. They don't begin they cuss me. I mean that's why. Asha. Why you been make her cry? Asha. Asha. Why you don't put pepper on me eye? Asha. Because I love you, baby. Asha. I'm not being no sin, I so love for good. Yes, indeed, Easy K is all around the corner, and uh, he paid a visit recently to the UK for an extremely nice show, courtesy of Afrobeat people around the UK. So, bravo to Easy K for that wonderful moves. Moving straight to our number five video for this week, and it's from Jay Sankoro, featuring Nana Menta and a Succulent in a video titled Love Not a Die. Yeah, JSFPRF, succulent and anamenta in combination. Perfect collaboration, we are giving it to you. Oh, na na, oh, na na, drag back for that Vegetarian, me na mawe like meat. If you cook I'm ready eat. If you lay I'm ready beat. If you shake I throw the meat. I go stand up on my feet. I go grab and complete. I go make you feel the heat. Make a swell a beat. We go wine up, make wine up, wine up, make wine up. DJ we no dope. We go put on the beat. We go wine up, make wine up, wine up, make wine up. Me and you two, the most watch me na YouTube. Yes, love of the dar was our number five video from Jason Cor, another Australian guy based in USA, and the team served with Nana Minta and Succulent. Yeah, very, very nice song. We'll straight to our number four video for this week, and it's from Valentino of SBM in a video titled "The Money." Lego, SBM team, you know. I want to do Master Rail on the beat. A master addition. Yes, the money was our number four video for the week, and be out on the look. I'm all right, it's coming very soon. So many other videos coming out from that young man, and wish him the very best. Move straight to our number three video for the week. For that, he has been nominated here yeah, in the Africa Entertainment Award in USA. Guess who? Alonzo Tia Bassi in a video titled Now You Bing Bing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to thank God for His grace. grace, grace, grace. On the beat. Because He's been so good to me, man. Blessings coming from left, right, center. <laughs> and I make me enemies than the one that you know. That you know. Hey, hello. Say I too they shine, and then no one forever see me they shine. All the one for see me suffer, then no one for see me they prosper. Eh, eh. But Papa got there by my side, and I in, I in they make her they shine. His blessings all around me, he make me enemies, then they wonder. Eh, eh. Let me say me music not good though, because because the beat is very slow. But everywhere that I go now, now me they run me be show. Eh. 
feel say I no go make him, but by His grace I say I don't make him. From Liberia to Salon, hey, London to all over the world, Papa God now you, now you make me, hey, Jehovah now you make me. Yes, Alonso was our number three, and I say congratulations to you, my brother, man. I know we have played a big role towards your nomination, and it's coming up against big names in Africa, like of the party ranking, there are so many other big guys here. Yeah? So, bravo to you in advance, and it's a Trace TV sponsored award. So, wish you the very best, my brother. Go for it. Move straight to our number two video for this week, and it's from CC in a video titled Jihoon. Yes, you know, I spent two more time on the charts from different angles from number one to there, but now it's on the number two spot and bravo to CC for that classic video and big up to Nash Media for wonderful shooting and editing as well. Move straight to our number one, but before we move straight to that, keep sending your votes to the official top 10 at jimmy.com or like us on Facebook, Saloon Talent and the Saloon Top 10 or follow us on Twitter using the hashtag at Star TV. And if you missed this edition, catch us on YouTube, Salon Talent. Well, our number one video for this week. Can you imagine? The MP3 is out now, but the video has been out for a long time. Yeah? There's uh, Abdul Bangura, aka Busy, teams up with Davido. That's uh, the super mega star, the Sony guy, the HKN guy, and all. So much. In the video title, Shushu. Yesterday, bravo to a busy and Davido for that wonderful collaboration. That's back to back. Yeah, they now got two songs: the Sugar Remix and the superb song Shushu. So keep sending your votes to the official top ten at jimmy.com. Like us on Facebook, Saloon Talent, and the Saloon Top Ten, and follow us on Twitter using the hashtag #StarTVSL. And feel free to be part of the show. You can even call us on plus two three two seven nine zero two one zero two one. I go over it again. Plus two three two seven nine zero two one zero two one. I've been your guy Bosch, and back to you, Fibian. Thank you very much, um, Rebecca and Bosch, for the Salon Top Ten Countdown chart. And don't forget to keep your votes coming in for your favorite song and your favorite artist. And now I have Eric Silaskawa. He was actually a member of the Star Picking Team, but now I'm a member of the Star Big Man Team. <laughs> well, he's not a kid anymore, so. Oh, okay. Eric, thank you for being a part of the program. Oh, it's a pleasure. And thanks Eric for is actually a talented broadcaster. What you can see here is Eric in action. Um, yes, he's part of the team for um, Waiting Now. And like I said, he was also part of the Star Picking team. Eric, I know your talent in broadcasting and um, you're really one of the young ones I know would do something good. Yeah? 
aside from broadcasting, what other talents of yours have you identified? Well, basically, I also do MC programs. At the same time, I write poems. Like the time for Ebola, I wrote a poem for Ebola, which was a broadcast on Sephora, um, newspapers, and yeah. radio stations. You used to send poems here before. That reminds yes. me on yeah. Mondays for before the Good Morning, morning Show back on radio. You yeah. used to do poems. What happened with your, your poetry stuff? What happened? Well, basically, uh, poetry is something that needs a uh, total concentration. Like, we're talking about the media being part of the within our team and all the other stuff. So I'm most of the time very engaged, so I find it so difficult to get time to talk about or to write poems. Because you just don't need to go out and write poems. You have to sit down, think, and then you observe and write something which is going to be very good. So that's the reason why I stop a bit. But I have, I have quite a few of poems that I've written so far. Don't let it waste yeah do not okay so why did you choose broadcasting well basically i can say broadcasting has been like a talent since i was a kid like i remember my mom used to say i talk a lot when we travel from oh Arkansas. that's how they call our stalker teams but <laughs> hey i like the name so it's paying me so yeah so basically when we were maybe traveling from one place to another i've been talking talking and talking and they said i'm a commentator so it's been part of me. I like talking in school, taking part in debates, taking part in the journal, giving um, on speech day, we give the introduction of chairperson and different stuff. So through that, I actually love the media and I so admire people to see them on TV and all that. Oh, one thing you didn't say that I remembered was you didn't mention your other talent of acting because I saw you on stage back at your school. Your oh, school. yes. It was on stage, it was <laughs> acting and it was really good. Yeah, exactly. That was um, way back when I was going to school and I used to take part in the piece like French piece, English piece. So I was most of the time called upon to act or to narrate and all that. So I have some talent but I don't Do you intend to use that to like taking it to a professional level, probably becoming uh -huh. a movie actor? Well that's gonna be necessary but um I'm gonna think about it. Because recently I Sweetheart, was also fishing. my advice to you is yeah. when God blesses you with talents, please yeah. don't let them waste. Yeah. Do not. Because what you have, there are people who want them, but they, they don't have it. Yeah. It's just a special blessing that you have it, so don't let it waste. Yeah, I would. It's who you are and what you are, so use it. Exactly, thank you. So why do you think about it? Mm, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> You're entitled to that. Yeah. Let's go back to broadcasting. How do you feel? Mm. Well, you're used to interviewing people now. How do you feel being In interviewed? interviewed? <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> it's kind of a bit strange. Like, you know, most of the time we go and interview, so I'm not feeling that comfortable as I used to be in a studio with me interviewing a guest. But never mind, things mm. have to change the other way around. Yeah, well. So it feels so good being here. It's a lot better that you just have to respond. <laughs> <laughs> yes, then I have to just crack my head because most of the time when we have guests on waiting out show, if I'm doing a, um, maybe the entertainment, like we have Swaggle Junction mm -hmm. or anyone so far, I just have to go go to the internet, look out for interviews, maybe on YouTube. I have to think the about what questions do I need to ask. Yeah. But now that I'm getting this interview, I think I didn't do much research. <laughs> so it's better to be on the other hand of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Being the interviewee, not the interviewer. Exactly. exactly. Um, this is a, a popular Ghanaian um, star um, yeah. in the movie world. Yeah. You, I, I've seen a couple of other people you've interviewed. Yeah. How does it feel that what you have so much passion for is taking you to places and you're meeting people? Well, it really feels great, like, um, having the opportunity to talk to such people. Like, um, most of the people, we think is somehow different. Like, with almost more you don't catch. Yeah, I know. So, um, I had the opportunity talking to people like um, this actor, his name is Eddie Watson. He's an actor, a producer, a director. As well, I also spoke to Majid Michel, who is a popular um, Ghanaian celebrity. I spoke to a few other celebrities in Ghana, so that is a bit much more. It makes me feel at least, I don't feel so proud, but at least um, I'll say, okay, I'm getting up there, and at least I've got the opportunity to talk to these people. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so proud of him, you know. I actually see him like a younger brother, and yeah. it's just inspiring to see the younger ones doing something good for themselves, you know not a part of the lazy ones who just sit back and expect everything to come to them readily made. Life 
it's not a piece of cake. You don't just wake up and become successful. You have to go through the struggles. Eric, you yeah. love broadcasting, and yeah. um, I know you've sat to the WASC exam already, yes, and exactly. you should be going to college. Yeah, what do you exactly. intend to study in college? Well, I've seen mass communication. Oh, I guessed correctly. Yeah, yeah, that's the best profession and career in the whole world. Yeah. Like, why would you go and study anything else? <laughs> I know people will not agree with me, but you know, we the know passion, it's yeah. the best thing the to best do thing. in the world. Yeah, exactly. It is. So, where would you want to study? Have well, you arranged your um, university? Yes, well, I was supposed to go to Lincoln Queen, but there are some issues, so I couldn't attend at Lincoln Queen. So I have to go to FPC, but I was late to get the, the form for this academic year. So I've got it now for the next academic year, and probably I'll be starting in September when the, the academic year will, will, will start again. I wish you good luck. You're a smart kid, yeah. and I know you can do it. So. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but then, um, why are you going to college? Would you be also working? Well, I intend to work even if it's now. I wanted to work to have at least more experience. Yeah. Because for waiting now, it's, it's a practical a, job. yeah, it's a, it's a program for young people and it comes up only once a week. So once a week, I need to be getting something that I'll be engaging myself maybe for throughout the week, for the meantime, for studying college. So what would you want to major in college? Is it print media or broadcast? Well, uh, print actually, or electronic? electronics, electronics media, because I some print because I was writing some articles on newspapers, poetry and all that. But I think the electronics, because I've also been on radio, like the Star Picking Talk as you rightly mentioned, and of course we were doing the Star Bulletin. Yeah, yeah he was yeah, helping me with the health, that, um, yeah. the health tips. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I did it for some time. So that's why people think I'm working for Star TV. Most of the time they said, Eric told me about Star TV. What? I'm, I'm part of the family, stuff, yeah. yeah, but I'm not actually working for Star TV and all that. Oh, I'm, so I'm, you are I'm denying us hair? No, I'm part of the family, <laughs> but I'm not working for starting. Well, yeah, he's right. <laughs> yeah. So after college, what's your intention? What do you aim to do? Well, basically, I would also want to go into something because broadcasting, I will continue, but not. I want to do another profession aside from broadcasting. Mm, oh, I would exactly. like to do maybe studying law. Mm. Yeah. I after see. broadcasting, you know, after exploring a lot of things. Going back to so he probably would want to be like um, Nikki Spencer Coker. Nikki yeah. is actually a lawyer, yeah, I like and her. she's I have... also into broadcasting. Yeah, yeah, I like her. I usually listen to her Saturday pro um, breakfast show on Capital Radio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it's good. I wish you good luck okay, thank in you. all you do. Yeah, and um, keep it up. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. All right, um, he's Eric Silas Kawa. He is also a part of the staff family. Yeah, that's what we call ourselves. Here. We're a family, yeah. and. Um, this is Salon Talent. Let's take a look at a couple of videos before we go, just to keep you entertained. I know we pain, fool, but wake up in the morning with no food, and you picking then the cry angry. Why, why, why? And it only brings tears to your eyes. When seem bad for you, some of you bad it then go go left you. You fumble then go look down on you, but just greet them with a smile. So.
Facts in the building, nice to let it. Now I'm chilling, yeah, yeah. Baby, you the best I've ever seen. You say you're my mind, you're always blind, yeah. And let it cause you're so divine, yeah, nah, nah. But you always give me cold shoulder. Tell me to find the money and you can call me on it. No, no, my baby. So they hit a new page and I'm going. I am now, today it's a new page and I'm taking all over as causing that blessing and I got big zeal, that's one famous universal, boy got joy, I am cool it, and I'm good it, that's why I say no to the waiting God, I'm flying, I'm so high like super salad and gone, girl, now the nickel me, I got swagger, now the nickel me, I go harder, now the nickel me, I got swagger, now the nickel me, I go harder, now the Now the Nicolet, Colette, Nicolet, 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 Nic